Hello, this is lesson 15, which covers pages 89 to 92 of the Automate the Boring Stuff with Python textbook. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce a new concept called methods. A method is the same thing as a function, except it's attached or called on a certain value. I'll show you what I mean in the interactive shell. Let's store a list value in this variable spam. So hello, hi, howdy, hey is. So spam has a list with four values in it. Now, all list values have a method called index. And remember, method is just this, pretty much the same thing as a function. And you can call that method on the, on the list value in spam. So here we're calling index, that's the name of the method, and we're going to pass it an argument just like we would pass a function in argument, and the index method returns the index that it finds that value that you passed at. So hello is at index 0, so the index method returns 0. So you can't call a method by itself, like this doesn't really make any sense. And also, Python doesn't know which list you're trying to find the index to. That's why you have to call it on a value right here. So the method name comes after the value or the variable that contains the value and a dot. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same thing as a function. And each data type has its own set of methods. So the list data type, for example, has several useful methods for finding, adding, removing, and otherwise manipulating values in the list, and we'll cover those in this lesson. You can see we can also call the index on this value, so if you ever said, hey, I need to find where this string hey is in the, in the spam list, you can call the index method. However, if the value that you're searching for the index for doesn't exist inside that list, just like this string doesn't exist in the spam list, uh, the index method will raise an exception. And if you have a list with duplicate values inside of it, say I have the name of various cats I know, Sophie, Puka, Fat Tail, and then have a duplicate value inside this list, if you call the index method searching for that value, the index method will return the index of the first time it sees that value inside the list. It'll return that index. To add new values to a list, use the append and insert methods. The append list method adds the value to the end of a list. So let's have a list cat, dog, bat. We can call the append method and it'll add a value to the end of that list. And the insert method is similar, it just can insert a value at any point inside the list. So if we have... So let me restart this. Spam is equal to this list with these three values. We could call the insert method, and say I want to insert this as the new value at index 1. I want to add chicken that will then insert that value at index 1 in the list and everything else gets bumped up. Now notice that we don't assign the return values of append and insert to the variable. Now, these methods just return the none value anyway, so we type something like spam append moose, but we don't type spam equals spam.append moose. This would actually assign the none value to spam and get rid of that list entirely. So, so the list is modified, quote, in place. So modifying a list in place is covered in more detail later when we talk about mutable and immutable data types. But for right now, just realize that you don't assign the return value of append and insert. You just call the method itself. Methods belong to a single data type. The append and insert methods are list methods and can only be called on list values. They can't be called on values such as strings or integers. If we tried to do something like assign eggs the string value hello and then tried eggs.append world, this would raise an error. That's because the string data type doesn't have a method called append. 
So lists also have a remove method that's passed a value that you want removed from the list that it's called on. So let's create a new list, say cat, bat, rat, elephant, and say I want to remove that bat value from the list. Doesn't matter where it is in the list, I just want to remove it. We can call spam.remove bat, and that removes the bat string from that list. Now if we try to remove a value that doesn't exist in the list, Python gives us an error. So notice how this is different from using the delete statement. If I wanted to delete the value, no matter what it is, at index 0, I would just say delete spam 0. But what the remove method does is that it allows you to specify a value that you want to remove rather than the index, and it will remove this value no matter where it is in the list. And like the index method, if a value appears multiple times in a list, only the first instance of that value will be removed. So if I had a list in the spam variable like cat, bat, rat, cat, hat, cat, and cat appears multiple times if I call spam remove cat, it will only remove this first cat variable that it found. All of the other cats are still inside that list. Now lists with number values or lists with string values can be sorted with the sort method. This is really handy. Say I had something like a list with these values in it, 2, 5, 3.14, 1, negative 7, I could then sort these just by calling spam.sort, the sort list method. And now all of these are suddenly rearranged to be in order. You can do the same thing with lists that have strings. So say I had ants, cats, dogs, badgers, which begins with a B, so this is not in alphabetical order anymore, elephants, I could call spam.sort, and then all of a sudden, all of these are sorted in alphabetical order. And you can also pass a keyword argument to sort, the reverse keyword argument, which takes a Boolean value. So I can say reverse equals true, and that means I want this sorted in reverse order. So now it's in reverse alphabetical order. But note that you can't sort lists that have both numbers and string values, since Python doesn't really know how to compare these values. So if I had a list that was 1, 2, 3, and also had strings, Alice, Bob, and I tried to sort them, Python would give us an error message saying, I really don't know how to sort these string and integer types. I mean, so does a string that begins with the letter A, does that come before the number 1? or do I put integers after this? Uh, Python doesn't really know, so it just says I can't sort these. Technically, sort doesn't use alphabetical order. It uses something called ASCII-betical order. Uh, and it's pretty much the same thing, but it just means that uppercase characters come before lowercase characters. I'll show you what I mean. We have a list value that has capital A Alice and capital B Bob, lowercase a ants and lowercase b badgers, and capital C carol and lowercase c cats. When we sort this, something odd happens. All of the uppercase letters come first, while all the lowercase characters come afterwards. And this is weird because technically it means that a capital Z comes before a lowercase a. Now if you want true alphabetical sorting, there's a keyword argument that you can pass to the list. So let's say we had a list, lowercase a, lowercase z, uppercase a, uppercase z. Normally this sorts in ASCII-betical order, where the capital letters come first. But you could pass the keyword argument key equals stir lower. This is technically passing the convert to lowercase string method, which we'll go over in a future lesson. But that will make it sort in 
true alphabetical order. So just remember, dot sort, uh, call the sort method, and then pass it key equals string dot lower. To recap, methods are functions that are called on values. And the index list method returns the index of an item in the list. The append list method adds a value to the end of a list, and the insert list method can add a value to the list anywhere at any index. And the remove list method removes an item, which is specified by the value. And the sort list method sorts the items in a list. And you can pass the sort method's reverse keyword argument to cause it to sort in reverse order. And also, sorting happens technically in ASCII-betical order. If you want to sort it in normal alphabetical order, pass key equals string.lower, and the list methods operate on a list in place rather than returning a new list value. That's why you just want to call spam.append instead of spam equals spam.append.